Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about another big 25H2 update for the release review channel. And this build has a very big chance of being the first build that will also be released on the main release of Windows 11, most likely next month in October. In this video, we are talking about the build 26200.6713 for version 25H2 or build code KB5065789. This build has also been released to Windows 11 24H2. So if you are on Windows 11 24H2, so you're also going to get it. But of course, we're talking about the latest version, which is 25H2 on the release preview channel. So of course, if you want to check this out and test it out for yourself, you have to be enrolled in the release preview channel. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new in this build, new features, new changes, new fixes. And also, I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to enable some of the features that are not necessarily rolling out yet in this build. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. Before starting the video, I want to introduce you to private internet access. Using the internet without private internet access is like leaving your phone unsupervised in public places. All it takes is one quick thief to grab it. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Private internet access is the world's most transparent VPN provider with over 30 million downloads and their no logs policy has been proven multiple times in court. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. With private internet access, you can also unblock restricted content such as news websites for Canadians, which have been blocked in the past month. And you can use one private internet access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. Of course, first of all, to get this update, you're going to have to make sure that you are enrolled in the release preview channel as I've said. Go into the Windows Update section in the Settings app and make sure you have selected get the latest updates as soon as they're available and then click on check for updates. This way you're going to get this latest build. First of all we're going to talk about some new AI features as always we're going to get the new AI features out of the way and then we're going to talk about new features for all users. First of all we have some new click to do features. Click to do as you all know is a feature that allows you to do certain actions using AI for Copilot plus PC of course. One new feature is that click to do can now detect tables. You can now highlight any simple table and set into Excel, copy or share it. Also new and popular action tags in the click to do context menu help you discover the latest and most widely used AI powered actions. And also click to do now provides more concise summaries with the summarize action. Also for the new AI agent and settings, a direct navigation link to the corresponding settings page is now available from the agent search results. This improvement is currently rolling out to agents and settings on Copilot plus PCs. And the last new AI feature, we're talking about the automatic super resolution, which is now available on Snapdragon powered Copilot plus PCs. And Microsoft is providing more information about how that works because there are certain people with Copilot plus PCs that are just getting this new feature. One feature that is not rolling out yet or partially rolling out is the new start menu for Windows 11, the new start menu design with a lot of different features. So of course, if you want to know how to manually enable this on your computer, if it's not rolling out because it is partially rolling out or not even rolling out officially, you can stay until the end of the video. But this is the new start menu. We've talked about it before. Basically, right now, the pinned, recommended, and all app section are combined in a single page in the start menu. And you can expand, for example, the pinned app section. And of course, you can also set it up so that it always opens up with the all pinned apps showing. We also have the recommended section below, which can now be disabled, and the all app section. For example, if we click on short settings, and then we disable show recently added apps, show recommended files and start, and show recommendations for tips and shortcuts, you're going to see that the recommended section has now disappeared. And this is good news. And also we have the OAP section where we can change the view, for example, from category to grid to list, whatever we want. And of course, Microsoft has also added some new options and has changed the way the phone link sidebar looks. Basically, whenever you connect the phone to your computer, you also have this button where you can quickly toggle on or off this sidebar. And you also have additional options where you can open phone link, customize recent activity and start settings. There's there's also a new feature that will now allow us to change the location of the hardware indicators on our system. For example, in case of a laptop where we have the volume flyout or the brightness flyout, which you can see right here. Well, now we can change the location of this flyout. And if you go and open up the settings app, then go to system and then notification.
notifications. At the bottom of the page, you're going to notice a new option, indicators from keyboard actions, position of on screen indicators. And you can change the location to top left, for example. Let me show you how this looks. As you can see, top left. And also you have the option for top center if you want. As you can see, this is nice alongside with the animation that it has. I think this is a great addition in this build. We also have a new taskbar change for IT administrators, which no longer need to restart Explorer.exe to apply the pinning policy. After applying the policy, users might see a pin on their taskbar within approximately eight hours, depending on the refresh interval. Inside the File Explorer, Microsoft is also adding the new AI actions for images and also for Microsoft 365. So as an example, whenever you have an image, you can right click on it and you're going to have certain actions that you can do with that image. For example, blurring the background, removing the background and more. We also have some improvements for the File Explorer. For example, the File Explorer context menu has been updated to remove the accent colored backplate behind package tabs in the open with list when right clicking a file, for example, snipping tool. In doing this, the icons should be easier to see now. And Microsoft also made some underlying changes to help improve the performance of launching cloud files from File Explorer and loading context menus. We have also two fixes for the File Explorer. Icons and text may become overlapping on the desktop when using increased text scaling, and also icons in the details, preview, and navigation panes of the File Explorer weren't properly mirrored when using an Arabic or Hebrew display language. Related to Windows Share, Microsoft is now allowing you to pin your favorite apps inside the Windows Share window. So as you can see, we have this button. We can now pin the snipping tool and the icon will be shown there permanently, which I think is a pretty useful feature. Microsoft has also released Emoji 16.0, which includes a small but meaningful set of new emojis. You have the new face with bags under eyes, fingerprint, root vegetable, leafless tree, harp, shovel, and splatter. You can see all of those in this screenshot that was provided by Microsoft. We also have the new advanced settings page, which you can find in system. Then if you scroll down to advanced, basically this will allow you to find key options easier. It includes File Explorer plus version control, which shows Git details such as branch, diff count, and the last commit message directly in the File Explorer when you select a repository folder. So you have all these options, for example, enabling the end task option, options for File Explorer to show file extensions, show hidden system files, and so on, alongside with terminal for developers and also dev drive options. Talking about the settings app, Microsoft has also done some changes, for example, for the Bing search history. The manager will clear your Bing search history entry under settings, privacy and security, search, and then search history has been removed. You can now directly manage your Bing search history from the privacy dashboard accessible via the privacy resources link under the related settings on that settings page. There are also a lot more settings moved from the old control panel to the new settings app. So now you will be able to add additional clocks, change your time server, and customize it in time formatting, including AM and PM symbols directly inside settings, time and language, and then date and time. So here you're going to have all those options. And if you go to language and region, for example, you're going to have options such as the number and currency formats, Unicode ETF 8 support, and options to copy language and region settings to other accounts. And I think this is also a pretty nice addition. Microsoft has also added under settings and accessibility, the keyboard character repeat and cursor blink rate settings that are now easier to find. An improvement in settings is that Microsoft made some underlying changes to help improve the performance of loading the apps list in settings, apps, and then installed apps, which I think is pretty nice. And also in settings, system, storage, and then disks and volumes might have showed a link for BitLocker drive encryption in unsupported cases. Clicking it, it would have resulted in BitLocker opening and displaying an error. This was fixed in this build. We also have a new keyboard shortcut. You can now quickly insert an E and dash or EM dash while typing. Pressing the Windows logo key plus minus will insert an E and dash. And if you press the Windows logo key plus shift plus minus, it will insert an EM dash. And we also have an input fix. After waking up a PC from sleep, touch input may not work to enter your pin on the login screen. This was also fixed. Some other input fixes fix an issue where some characters didn't display correctly when using the Chinese input method editor. And also this update addresses an issue where certain Chinese characters appeared as empty boxes in some text fields, such as those used in Connection Manager Administrator Kit and a character limit was set. We also have some new features for Narrator. Narrator now includes Braille Viewer, which shows both on-screen text and its Braille equivalent on a refreshable Braille display. And also Narrator now offers a smoother, more natural experience in Word with improved voice feedback, reliable continuous reading, and better navigation for footnotes, comments, lists, and tables. Microsoft is also adding the Administrator Protection Preview, which aims to protect free-floating admin rights for administrator users, allowing them to still perform all admin actions with just-in-time admin privileges. Microsoft is also adding some improvements for passkeys, which you can access from settings, accounts, and then passkeys. You can now use
use plugin credential manager for passkeys set up a plugin credential manager and go to this section and then go into the advanced options you can turn on support and then complete the user verification using windows hello we also have some new gaming improvements inside this update the xbox control support for gaming on windows has been improved short pressing the xbox button opens the game bar and also a new change that microsoft is introducing is when you long press the xbox button it will open task view. i think that is also a pretty nice option also pressing and holding the xbox button continues to turn off the game controller and another gaming improvement microsoft made some underlying changes to help improve performance when gaming with game bar or other overlays on top of your game this may particularly help those with multiple monitors which have different refresh rates microsoft has also updated several dialogues including the one that appears when an app fails to open and now it uses the win ui 3 and it's matching the windows 11 design principles there are also two app updates in this build one of them being related to the new copilot app and also to microsoft store of course to get them just open up the microsoft store go into the download section and then click on check for updates to get all the latest updates for microsoft copilot and also the microsoft store for the copilot app you should be getting this new home page which actually looks pretty good with this new pop-up that shows to pin copilot in your taskbar i'm just going to click on not now and here you have different things that you can see for example see recent files get guided help with your apps and here a history of your conversations i think this new home page is looking very good inside the copilot app related to the microsoft store the new ai hub in microsoft store is getting the new microsoft 365 copilot agents and you can now also directly launch apps that were updated or installed for example from the download section that are provided and updated by publishers and i think this is also a nice update related to the microsoft store in addition to this we have a few fixes in this update for example a fix related to dynamic lighting the dynamic lighting background controller may occasionally consume excessive cpu after unlocking your pc there's also a new voice access fix where voice access may get stuck in a state where it says it's listening but it's stuck and doesn't respond related to windows low microsoft is also applying a fix to this for when you may unexpectedly see a message saying something happened and your pin isn't available when attempting to enter safe mode and another fix for windows slow this update addresses an issue that affects windows slow pin setup with error 0x 800 910 on devices joined to microsoft intra id domains after installing windows updates released on or after the previous update related to windows sandbox microsoft fixed an issue when sandbox was enabled and the vmm emcm first boot process may consume large amount of cpu after login causing your pc to become unresponsive related to hdr hdr may unexpectedly immediately turn off after being enabled in settings this was fixed related to quick settings if you had it to enter a pin for your device to cast from quick settings pressing enter wouldn't confirm the pin this was also fixed related to servicing this update addresses an issue that disrupted windows update for customers using windows server update services these are pretty much all the changes features and fixes that were applied in this latest update or build for windows 11 25 h2 in the release preview channel as i've said there's a very big chance that this will be the first preview for the main release as well next month most likely but of course i'm going to keep you up to date with that now let me also show you how to enable all these features basically all the features that are slowly rolling out and the short menu that is partially rolling out so you can test them out if you are enrolled in the release preview channel of course we're going to need to use vive tool which is a small tool that is very popular that allows you to enable these features that microsoft is testing behind the scenes and not releasing for everyone at the same time just get the latest version that zip you can then open up using file explorer click on extract all and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder for example in local disk c i have a folder created hidden features i'm just going to select this folder then we're also going to copy this location because we're going to need it whenever we are running the commands click on extract in my case i'm going to have to replace the files in the destination and we are good to go we successfully set a vital tool on our computer now open up the cmd as administrator search for cmd and then click on run as administrator on user account control of course click on yes first of all you type in cd and then paste the location where you extracted vive tool and then we're going to run a command vive tool slash enable slash id 57048226 this is an id or a command that will enable pretty much all the new features and you should get the message successfully set feature configurations and also another id basically the same command but another id 47252210 and then press enter and yet again you should receive the message successfully set feature configurations a huge shout out to phantom of earth on twitter or x.com for providing information about these new features and how to enable them and of course all these commands and these steps will be listed in the article below so you can just copy and paste them easily without having to just pause the video so this is pretty much all there is to it to this latest update for the release preview channel windows 11 24 h2 and also 25 
25H2. I remind you, Windows 11 25H2 will most likely be officially released next month, and we should be getting pretty much this update that I showed you in this video. Of course, for additional information, make sure to check out the article below in the video description, the official Microsoft blog post, or Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.